I'm about to ask three questions, and I want you, those of you playing along at home, and those of you in the studio audience, to yell out the answer as soon as you hear it. I just want you to notice how quickly the answer comes to you, and then how quickly it comes the second time, and then how quickly it comes the third time. So here we go. What is seven times seven? What is seven times 70? Now the last one. What is 97 times 113? I have done this enough to know what just happened in your mind. When I asked you what seven times seven it was, you knew, quote, immediately. There was no delay. When I asked you what seven times 70 was, it took you a small delay. I don't know what that measurement is. It doesn't matter. It took longer. The reason it took longer was because you have a neural pathway to seven times seven. You have a neural pathway to the rule of tens, which says just take that number and add a zero to it. But you had to go to two places, and your brain had to pull that into short-term memory and combine those consciously, and that's that little delay. So seven times seven popped in your head immediately. Seven times 70 was a little shorter. When I said 97 times 113, you had no chance of knowing that answer. It would have taken a while. It would have taken conscious effort and maybe a tool to make that work. Here's what I know. A month from now on the call, I could ask what 97 times 113 is, and you could know that answer immediately, the same way you did 7 times 7. What you would do in the next month is you would look at that answer over and over and over and over. You would make a flashcard that had 97 times 113 on that one side, and on the other side had the answer. And you would look at that card over and over and over. And when I said, what's 97 times 113, you'd know just like that. Boom. Now. The research shows that flashcard and based repetition will build a neural pathway to the information you're trying to put in your head. We know that. The research backs that up. There's no question about it. So if we know that flashcard and endless repetition and spaced repetition works to train the subconscious mind, why wouldn't we use that for our future? Why wouldn't we use that to our advantage? I believe today your vision is just a flashcard to the future. And the reason it works is because we're going to build up those neural pathways. Uh, people that read their vision on Sunday night once a week make way better progress than those of you that are once a while. The people who actually get this concept that this is about as much repetition as you can put in burn through their visions much quicker. Just do it. You don't have to understand how it works. There's lots of science that shows it does work. Just believe that. 